Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be planning out the month of January of 2023 using my Simple Planner Volume 1, which is a free planner that I recently created and released. And I also release some other free financial related goodies. So check out my description box if you want to get your hands on this planner. So as I mentioned before, in 2023, I'm going to be digitally planning until probably Q4 when I may need to bust out a paper planner. So let's just talk about what I'm doing and I'll just kind of walk you guys through it all. So first of all, I wanna say that this planner is undated. And if you're working with an undated planner, once you date it, whether you use text box or date dots or whether you write in the dates using an Apple pencil, do know that you can copy that whole area and save it as an element. So I recommend doing that so that you don't have to keep, you know, redating your planner. So as of basically anytime I need to put my dates in my planner or date my planner, I can just whip out that template and date the planner accordingly. So that's one thing that I definitely recommend that you do. You can also save other things as elements, which we'll talk about. So as an example, I saved this Happy New Year sticker as an element. Many of my stickers I save as an element and I just like doing it that way because it just seems to make the most sense. Now, I do wanna say 100% of odds were against me in releasing this video. Good notes was tripping. Um, finally found a workaround around that. Then I just can't even tell you all the odds that were against me, but we're here. The footage isn't the best footage. I don't really like the quality that much. Turn down the brightness on your phone or whatever device that you're on. And I think it'll be fine, but you know, we're here. I'm a day late, a dollar short, but we're gonna get it done. So let's just talk about what I'm planning for January. And then I'll also share with you, you know, just some general tips and tricks. So. If you do not have a sticker in your possession, then feel free to go to Google, Pinterest, or wherever, and you literally can just take a sticker from there. <laughs> super, super simple. Any picture, any icon, anything you can import digitally into your planner. So I went and found that basketball and I imported it. And I did want it to be kind of matching my color way. So I didn't get like a bright orange ball, but one that was more toned down. Right now I'm flipping through my stickers from Dash Planner. Dash Planner pretty much supplies all of my sticker needs. Otherwise, I do have random stickers, free stickers from uh, something digital planning and just some other random places. So just know that lots of creators release or have for free digital stickers. So definitely try to get on their email list, which is what you typically have to do to get your hands on some free planners or sometimes free planners like the one that I'm releasing in that you can get available today, but also some free stickers and just other free goodies. So January 1st is of course the new year or marks the new year, obviously. On the second, we are going to watch the Lakers versus the Hornets. The Lakers is my husband's R. The Lakers are my husband's favorite. The Lakers is my favorite, my husband's favorite basketball team. So we're gonna go see them this season and hang out with one of our friends in Charlotte. On the third, my mileage is due. It, no, on the fourth, my mileage is due. The third is a teacher work day. I work in public education, but not as a teacher. So I don't know really what the plan is for me on that day, but I may or may, I don't know what I'm supposed to do that day, but it is a teacher work day. I went and got the upload sticker from my Dash Planner content creator sticker book or sticker pack. And I brought in that upload sticker and placed it on every Wednesday and every Saturday, which are the days that I typically shoot for uploading unless odds are against me like today. <laughs> but otherwise, that's what I try to shoot for. And that's just a sweet spot for me as a person who works full time, pumping out two videos per week just seems to be a sweet spot for me. So I went ahead and filled in some of the video ideas that I think I want to aim for. Of course, this is a leisure hobby type of situation. The money that I've earned does not really pay our bills or anything like that. Obviously we use the money, but we're not dependent on it, which means that I try to stick to a strict schedule, but I do sometimes 
not meet my self-imposed uh, deadlines, if you will, and you know, whatever. So just keep that in mind. These are the videos that I'm aiming to put out, but I might not be putting out. In January, much like every other month, I have a lot of financial social work related stuff. I am a financial social worker and I am on the team or I'm a part of the financial health and wellness community, which is what we call our community. And we do a lot, a lot of planning and prepping and just really trying to push forward or move forward the Center for Financial Social Work and the model of financial social work just in general. On the 12th, we will give our dog her monthly heart worm meds on the 18th. It is my best friend's birthday. And then on that weekend, we're actually gonna go to Charlotte, which is interesting. Charlotte is hands down one of my favorite cities, particularly on the East Coast. However, even though we have traveled far and wide for my friend's birthday to major cities, for whatever reason, even though Charlotte is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from me, we have never been to Charlotte, my friend and me. So we're gonna be doing that. So I'll be going right back to Charlotte, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But that was planned before we even bought tickets to watch the Lakers versus the Hornets. So I'm marking the B-Day trip with a highlighter, and I'm just kind of using it as I would washi tape if I were using a paper planner. So that is one little tip that you can use. You can also go and you know get some kind of graphic from the internet, from Google or whatever, and you can turn it into washi as well. You know, it's just so much that you can do with digital planning. So I love that. On the 21st, in my head, I'm gonna share finally how I edit using LumaFusion. There are already so many videos out there, so I'm typically hesitant to do tutorial-esque videos because there are already so many out there, particularly ones that I actually learned from. But I do realize that the type of content that I'm gonna be, uh, that I edit, like playing with me videos and stuff like that, aren't typically the ones that you learn about in the LumaFusion tutorials. So I do see the beauty in that. So in my head, I'm going to be releasing that video. So I'm excited for that. And that pretty much, is gonna be it for my monthly planning section. I am going to add some cute little dots to my dates just to add a little flare, a little pop of color, if you wanna call that color, just a little something something. I just felt like the planner needed a little bit more. I have a goal section down here and I'm writing in some of my monthly goals, more on those in my upcoming January reset routine video. And then I'm also going to write in some tasks that I would like to get completed. So when I think of tasks, I really just go to my master to-do list, which lives in Notion, and I pull from the master to-do list the things that either are time sensitive that I need to do more quickly or just things that I realistically think that I can get done in any given month. And then I kind of do the same thing when I plan for the week. I put on the my to-do list, things that I can actually potentially realistically get done in that given week. And again, I just pull things from my master to-do list. So I'm creating a new collection right here in the element section, and I'm creating this habit tracker. So I'm going to create the habit tracker as it is, and then you won't see it in this video, but afterwards, I'm actually going to save another element minus the, the dots. So it's just going to be a blank element, which means that next month in February, I can just, I actually may go ahead and just set up the entire planner for the year. But next month I can easily just drop the element into the habit tracker section and all will be right with the world. But one thing that I probably will be doing is changing out the color. Right now, this is red from December and I'm gonna change it to match the January colorway, which is kind of like a light brown, I guess. And moving forward, I'll probably just easily, like I'm doing right now, change out the colors. So that is going to be it for this video. This is the Simple Planner Volume 1. This is my vision board. If you didn't see my 2023 reset video, I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you are new and if you're liking what you're seeing. And I'll catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye guys.